what? What do you want? This does not concern you. <laughs> Please accept my apologies. I caught my brother attempting to do something unspeakable, and I could not contain my anger. Oh yes, go on. Invite a total stranger into our family squabbles. This is no squabble, you pompous fool. What you have done today is abhorrent. I can forgive stealing my money or pawning my valuables. What I cannot abide, however, is you attempting to sell Mother's urn with her remains still within. I have done many things I am not proud of, but I have never stooped as low as that. <laughs> I'm glad you understand. The outsider may somehow understand you, but I do not. I am tired of your shamelessness, and I am done bearing what should be your indignity. Do you hear me? I am done. You have gone too far this time, Amila, and I cannot bear the humiliation of being your brother any longer. I challenge you to a duel. Danica shall be my second. What? Are you mad? Borhal, are... are you sure? There is already so much death in the city. What good would this do? There has to be another way. Too late, Danica. He has issued his challenge. I accept. I, in fact, look forward to it. You. You shall be my second. No, why not you? You seem capable and trustworthy. The true answer is because Amila has no one, family or otherwise, willing to be his second. He has burned every bridge there is to burn. He will have to resort to picking someone off the street regardless, so it may as well be you. I do not want to wait any longer than necessary. If you agree to this, you will allow us to come to an immediate resolution. I will pay you handsomely for that. Then it is settled. Outsider, you will work alongside Danica to prepare for the duel. As for you, Amila, enjoy these last few moments. For when we next meet, your shameful life ends. <laughs> Do not sound so confident, brother. I the see family why home is this one. It is not far. You see we can charities. discuss the matters there. You will be working with me. As seconds, it is our duty to prepare for the duel, and ensure fairness. I am sorry that you have found yourself in this situation. But know that you are doing Amila a great favor. He truly has no one else who would be willing to do this for him. He has burned every bridge imaginable. It seems that after years of suffering Amila's embarrassment, Borhal has reached the boiling point. But still, to challenge your brother to a duel. I pray that we will be able to work towards a peaceful resolution before it's too late. Greetings. I got you your favorite from the meat box. Extra fatty, just the way you like. This is it. Shall we begin our duties? Are you ready to discuss our rules? Very good. Let us begin. Your primary duty as Amila's second is to work with the brothers, and see if a peaceful conclusion is possible. Namely, if Amila apologizes to Borhol, and he accepts, the duel may not move forward. 
As for me, I will be procuring the weapons for the duel, and the materials for the preceding ceremony. Borhol as challenger reserves the right to choose the weapons, and he has chosen blades. Do you have any concerns? Hmm... I will note your concern, but know that Borhol has the final say. If that is all, we will break here and see to our duties. Before that, though, I know that this duel is foolish. I am sorry you got pulled into this. I will try and find another peaceful solution to this problem, should you be unsuccessful in convincing them to call it off. Amila has the right to deliver a genuine apology to Borhol, and stop this duel before it commences. The odds of him doing so, however, are low. The Odlum brothers, like their ancestors, are stubborn and prideful. Duels were quite common a hundred years ago, but have become more rare with each passing generation. At this point, the Odlum family is the only one that still takes part in this custom. Report back to me when you have spoken with the brothers. We will discuss your secondary duty then. I don't need any free drinks from you. Huh? Look who it is. I will not waste your time. I already know what you have come to ask. You wish to inquire if there is any possibility of me apologizing to my brother. The answer is no. The duel shall go forward as planned. It does not matter. An apology is an apology, and I will not humiliate myself like that. He is trying to kill me. Why should I be the one to apologize? Borhal likes to paint me as a ne'er-do-well, but what type of psychopath wants to kill their own brother? It is not fair. He should be the one begging for my forgiveness. You cannot just turn your back on family like Borhal has done to me. And now he wants to kill me. If he wins, I hope the guilt of what he has done will rot him from the inside out. And if I win, it is justice. Ah, oh, fine. But do try to be brief. I would prefer to be alone so that I may enjoy what could very well be my final moments alive. I do not know. Perhaps him challenging me to a duel has something to do with it. Do I have something to apologize for? Correct. You are my second, not my acquaintance. I do not wish to speak of these things with you. Is there? Perhaps you can convince me. You are very persistent. You may be my second, but you are not my friend. The less you know about me, the better.
You are very persistent. It does not matter. None of the... Enough of this. Just leave. Yes. Yes, I have. I am ready to fight and to die, if that is what the Great Serpent wills. Perhaps Borhal was depending on me being a coward. Perhaps he did not truly believe this duel would go on. Unfortunately for him, I am no coward. Can I get you anything? There was never a time when I was old enough to be allowed to drink alcohol here. What is it? I need to prepare. I will do no such thing, and will feel no regrets in avenging Amila's constant dishonors. <sighs> I have given him every chance, every credit. I have begged him to turn himself around. But instead, it has been endless years of dishonor and pain. Damn him. I should have known years ago that this would be the only way things would end. There is nothing that could lead me to calling it off. An apology from Amila is worthless. He always, always falls right back into his old ways. There is no apology grand enough to make up for nearly trading your late mother's remains to fund an addiction. That is... inconceivable. It would be, if Amila weren't a habitual liar, deceiver, and cheater. As I said before, an apology from him is less than worthless. He has apologized countless times for a decade, only to continue stabbing me in the back. Do you think I wanted this to happen? I tried to stop this downward spiral countless times. It was like saving someone from drowning, only for them to leap back into the ocean. Amila refuses to be helped, and he is determined to take me and the family name down with him. No, you are not my second. I do not see how this is pertinent to your duties. Again, I do not see how this is pertinent. You are just wasting our time. <sighs> Perhaps that will not be necessary. If Danica says so, perhaps there was something I missed. True. I am sure this experience has been confusing for you. You have made some valid points. I will answer your questions. No, Great Serpent, no. I will take no pleasure in his death. However, I may admittedly feel relief 
I will mourn the loss of my brother. The brother he used to be, at least. And I will pray that his restless soul finds comfort with the great serpent. I have done everything, and he has left me with nothing. He comes begging for money, so I gave it to him. Then he comes begging for my items to pawn, so I sacrifice them. And then he comes screaming to me that I hate him, that I have done nothing to help him. All of this for a decade now. I would lay by his side every night praying that he would not choke on his own vomit. But in the mornings, when I would throw away his bottles of Koza, he would fight me like a monster. I used to take such pride in giving to the community and in using my privileged position to help the less fortunate in the city. But I can no longer do that, as Amila has taken nearly every cent from me. I have sacrificed my entire purpose for living in the hopes that Amila would get better. And he never does. The Koza ruined him. Once he began living at the bottom of a bottle, everything changed. I am just exhausted by him. It is exhausting to constantly be blamed by him for all of his problems, while always being expected to forgive and help him when he demands. We were never the closest of brothers, as our personalities are just so different. But we were close enough. <laughs> he was a free spirit, which irked my parents. Honestly, I respected him a lot. He was unbreakable, even though the world was not always kind to him. He was funny, kind, and he always was trying to cheer me up, even if I had nothing to be sad about. <laughs> The Amila you know now is not my brother. My brother may as well have died years ago. The Amila walking around today is nothing like what he used to be. An alcohol made from groat milk. Amila is absolutely dependent on it, and his wife was too. The damn stuff rots your brain, I swear. He has always been a troublemaker. But once the Koza took over, he went from bad to worse. Now he is just an addict and a thief. I will be putting him out of his misery. I do not hate him. I do not love him either. And I can no longer tolerate him. I am sure Amila will spin a tale about his hard life. But the truth is that he has always been a miscreant and a troublemaker. But when father moved to strike him, who dove in front of the blows? When mother would not feed him, who sacrificed their food? It was me. It was always me. How does he repay me? He steals my valuables, slanders my name, and brings dishonor on the family. Any affection I had for my brother is long dead. Right. I take no pleasure in this. But after today, what he did, he needs to be dealt with. If that is all, you may take your leave. How are you handling everything? 
How did you fare? <sighs> As predicted, they have been blinded by scorn for one another. But you may still have a chance to halt any bloodshed. Listen to me very carefully. Your final duty as a second is to prepare the ceremonial drinks that the duelists will imbibe prior to the duel. As you are preparing the drinks, you will treat each cup with this tranquilizer. Borhal and Amila will be too weak to fight after drinking this. This duel is idiotic, we both know it. It is a needless loss of life during a crisis where there is already so much death. And the victor will rue his actions for the remainder of his life. You have one final chance to stop this. You are placing both of their lives into our hands. This responsibility is not fair. What is unfair about saving two lives? I... Theoretically, this should be safe. Tradition decrees that the second of the challenged prepares the ceremonial drinks. I, as the challenger's second, will lead the duelist in a final prayer. We must follow tradition closely so as to not arouse suspicion. If Borhol is wary of us, he will remove us as second and simply hire others. And the bloodshed will move forward unchallenged. Very good. Report to me when you are finished. May the Great Serpent aid us. Serpent. Is everything ready? To do what must be done. Then it is time to begin the duel. Yes, finally. I am ready to do what must be done. The time has come. Amila, are you sufficiently prepared? I am ready. It is time. <sighs> Nothing we can do now but observe and hope for the best. May the Great Serpent have mercy on your soul, Amila. What have you done to me, Amila? I am affected as well, dear brother. I, I did not do this. I can hardly see you in front of me. Uh, what the hell is this? 
What did you do? What is this? Uh, sabotage? This duel was an asinine idea, Borhal. We put a stop to it. There is no use for needless bloodshed at times like these. We must come together, not kill one another. You traitorous. You betray me, and then you lecture me. Oh, enough of your grousing, Borhal. Your precious duel can wait. Or are you truly so determined to kill me? Enough of your taunting. This is not over. I am counting on that. Remove yourselves. We must rest. But know that you have only delayed the inevitable. Thank the Great Serpent. You did it. The tranquilizer worked and you saved them both. Thank you for trusting me. Nonsense. You've made the right choice. Their egos are bruised, but deep down they are both relieved. Come what may, we have narrowly avoided a bloodbath today. If they are stupid enough to try again, we will find another way to stop it. But I doubt that day will come. Me too. I want to thank you. You trusted me and because of you, the brothers, my friends, are both alive. They are imbeciles, but better people than they seem. I am grateful for you. Please take this. It is admittedly not much compared to what you would have received if one of them had perished, but... Can you truly put a price on a human life? You are free to go. May the Great Serpent be with you. Always.